I think it's pretty amazing that somebody's gonna go and carve 300 pumpkins. <laughs> pretty awesome, isn't it? It's crazy, the ideas. I don't know where they get the ideas. From ghouls and goblins. He requires a large pumpkin, and he always looks good. To flowers and flames. Kind of like the pile of pumpkins with the flames looking like it's a fire. Hundreds of pumpkins glow in the night. It went from 50 to 100 to 150, 200 to, now I think we're a little over 250, almost 300 pumpkins. It all started 15 years ago when Gina Breederly and Tammy Munz Hendricks decided carving pumpkins would be a fun way for their families to celebrate Halloween. Now the kids have grown up. They've all headed out to college. But the two friends are keeping the tradition aglow. We research and we have notebooks and binders and stuff like that. And it's just fabulous. It takes weeks of planning, days of drawing, and hundreds of hours of carving. Oh, this is a labor of love. The handcrafted pumpkins catch the attention of trick-or-treaters, young and old. It's fun coming out here watching, seeing with the carving. The, it's, it's, it's cool. It's priceless because it's neat to see what they say and what they like. Whether you're a fan of the dark side or one of the good guys, everyone's got a favorite pumpkin. And it's kind of fun to have the dragon look like it's blowing smoke. You know what? I kind of like the old cartoons over there. Yeah, they're pretty cool. For Gina and Tammy, each pumpkin is their way of bringing a happy Halloween to their friends and neighbors. We appreciate people to come and see it. In Oakdale, Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.